After we recently learned about the physical stress imposed on the operator while he is donning the heavy zodiac protective equipment, we will in this sequence evaluate how operators at squad performs when leaving his base and entering the so-called hot zone, where he has to fulfill his tasks in complete autonomy, only relying on the protective and combat gear he is carrying with him. We will hear on some special issues the operator is facing while doing his demanding job inside the hermetically sealed zodiac. Of course, the CBRN operator has to forward the most rapid way possible, at the same time avoiding detection by hostile troops. There is no time for needless breaks. We can imagine such forced marches exhausting for every infantryman, especially for those operating in such heavy gear. Wenn's gut geht, ist es nach einer Stunde soweit, oder auch früher. Du merkst es in den Handschuhen. Bei jeder Bewegung rauscht die Brühe da rein und wieder raus. Hausgemacht. Hätte nie gedacht, dass ein einziger Mann so viel schwitzen kann. Am Ende ist alles voll. Klatschnass. Let's look at the details. Why is Zed Squad sweating in quantities which make him feel like taking bath or shower inside his rubberized protective uniform? There is sweat in abundance in there, the liquid constantly produced by any human body. Could this be solved by minimizing the sweating through medical treatment, either surgical or based on drugs? Without harming the operator's health and fitness. In fact, sweating is vital for us. Sweating causes a decrease in core temperature through evaporative cooling at the skin surface. As high energy molecules evaporate from the skin, releasing energy absorbed from the body, the skin and superficial vessels decrease in temperature. Cooled venous blood then returns to the body's core and counteracts rising core temperatures. There are two situations in which the nerves will stimulate the sweat glands, causing perspiration, during physical heat and during emotional stress. In general, emotionally induced sweating is restricted to palms, soles, armpits, and sometimes the forehead, while physical heat induced sweating occurs throughout the body. Since emotional stress should no longer occur once an operator is adapted to operating in the hot zone, his body will produce even more physical heat with every increase of his combat activity and fitness. We cannot eliminate this effect. One might consider the use of so-called overgarments, jumpsuits that are breathable, do not hinder perspiration and protect through a layer made of active charcoal. But those only offer insufficient protection. They do not block liquefied agents, often combined with acid substances and other chemical warfare agents, from penetrating to the occupant's body. This means they are disqualified for use in our ruddized CBRN combat or reconnaissance units. But wearing the Zodiac the operator has to conquer the issue of dehydration. Und dann musst du gegen antrinken. Damit du kampfbereit bleibst, schnell reagieren kannst. Denn mit Kopfschmerzen geht das schlechter. Also ran an den Trinkschlauch. Wasser. Marsch. Du hoffst nur, dass es reicht. Bis du aus der Zone zurück bist. Increasing dehydration of the operator would significantly affect his mental and physical abilities and thus his combat and operational readiness. The combat and protective system worn by operators at squad during the bridge explorer exercise involves a water reservoir of 2.5 liters in his backpack which can be connected by a gas tight tube connector to the drinking adapter of his M65Z gas mask. This ensures the operator can hydrate out in the hot zone securely at any lull of combat but without leaving the contaminated area. Weight measurements have shown that an operator drinks half a liter per hour from the reservoir, but actually loses about one liter of fluid through sweating. Will this mismatch hinder operators at squad in fulfilling his mission? For further reports from the so-called bridge explorer exercise stay tuned to this channel. They will be published here shortly after release by our secret service.